I'm Susan Patton and I work for the Utah Schools for the Deaf and the Blind as a lead teacher for Deaf Blind Services. This experience is going to give the kids um, for the Utah Schools for the Blind Preschool um, a, a great sensory experience and we're hoping to build a lot of concepts as far as um, growing plants and we're starting with just texture association which means that we're we're going to expose them to a lot of different textures and then hopefully we'll be able to teach them how to grow plants. It will give them a lot of um, sensory sensory um, abilities and then we're also going to carry this over into the class um, at their school and help them understand soil. Braden Hampton. I'm in Brett Robertson's class. Today we got to help the deaf and blind kids from Orem out and teach them about the greenhouse and how plants grow. I got to help a four-year-old kid around named Aiden and it was a great experience for me. I learned a lot about him and what it's like to be blind. Um, it made me grateful for the sight I have and everything I have. It makes me want to help him. Some things that I noticed with the students overall is that they all grew incredibly like socially and we even had some behaviors that changed with the students. Um, we had about three students that actually ended up understanding some agricultural concepts. Um, the other students were fairly severe. They, we, we don't think that they really understand any of the concepts that we were teaching them. But as far as them growing socially, we think that they grew like incredible lengths from coming into a new environment and talking to new people and having new people help them. So the reason the whole project was set up is to see if this would be a valuable experience for them and the high school students. When we first met him, I was really nervous because I didn't know what to expect about him or anything. They're really like outgoing kids, but they can be mean too. When she first started telling us about him, she told us that they could hit and they could pull hair because they don't know where they are. They don't know like the environment that they're in and they're scared too. So I was really nervous about meeting them, but they're really fun kids. They're funny. They're like some of them. There's one, Aiden, who loves water. He loves to get wet. So just all the different experience and learning each one of them was really neat. The reason that I'm helping the blind and deaf students is I came up with this project because I would really like to see if we could let the blind and deaf students understand agriculture so that they can get a new knowledge about what we really do. Um, they have a lot of problems with things that they can't see and so things like plants are really a hard concept for them to grasp because they can't see the seeds. So the reason I brought in them was to see if we could teach them some agriculture concepts and see if they could gain more knowledge about it. Yeah. yeah. 